background because now we're going to turn our attention to the big release out next week the eagerly anticipated xbox series x debuts on november the 10th and with it you'll be pleased to hear comes even better news for forza fans the release of forza horizon 4 optimized for the new consoles tell us more please <laughs> Yes, it, it genuinely is super, super exciting. I am really excited about it. Can we uh, roll the first video, please? Um, yeah, so there quite simply has never been a better time to play Forza Horizon 4. Um, the Xbox Series X is a, it is a fantastic console, and you can play your entire back catalogue in backwards compatibility mode. That's not what this is. This is a, a version of Forza Horizon 4, uh, rebuilt, optimized, uh, tuned to the absolute maximum performance to give you the, the very, very best version of Forza Horizon 4 there has ever been. Um, it's got higher fidelity graphics on in almost every way you can imagine. It's running a, a rock solid 4K60, and it's yes, yeah, faster performance, faster loading, faster, faster everything. It is awesome. And it just looks stunning. It just looks, it's got depth. You know, it's not yeah, like it didn't yeah. already. The, the, whole, the whole image just, just sits together so much better than it did previously. And it's yeah. it's one of those weird things where you you didn't think the game looked bad previously. Like, oh. you, I, I used to think it looked amazing. <laughs> and, <laughs> and now I've seen this. <laughs> I know. I'm excited to see what comes out of photo mode, to be honest, with Optimize. Like, the, these photos are going to get even more spectacular, which is how. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, so you've got faster performance. Um, but what about load times chris um yes yeah, so um yes we play the next video so um yes i'm very glad you asked leah so look because because of that new awesome ssd loading is has been reduced to almost nothing so we're about to see uh this person load into a race which i think used to take probably sort of maybe 12 to 15 seconds on an xbox one x so assuming you're on the good console then oh my gosh it's already finished loading look at that, um, that was, <laughs> i think that was probably like three or four seconds um uh, it, yeah so it's it, it really is just shaving like huge chunks of time off all those down down points you had in your game all the time there you'd just be sat doing nothing um we're about to see a fast travel now so jumping across from one side of the map to the other you used to take about 10 to 12 seconds on the one x on the series x that was about two seconds um it really is absolutely rapid uh that we'll see a change car now again that used to take around seven seconds in the best case that there was there was almost no load there at all that was i think sub one second of actual loading screen um yeah. it is incredible um it, your 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 time is just respected so much more when you're playing games um yeah. we're seeing now the the cold boot so this is from the dashboard boot we didn't show you the dashboard because this is a, a dev kit and we can't show you that stuff um but assume that they've just clicked on the on the icon this this load used to be probably two minutes or so um and that was i guess i don't know 20 seconds uh, we've also uh, added the ability that you can skip the uh, playground games t10 uh, splash screens as well so you don't have to sit through those every single time kind of if you want to you're allowed but um you can just press a and skip them now which again just gets you into the game that little bit faster yeah no more time to check your phone between races now that's it you're just in uh, <laughs> how do you anything to add on your end chris yeah, so those loading times, it's not just uh, kind of fast travel and things like that. So those of us uh, like me that go into the garage a lot and build cars, um, if you want to queue up the next video, the garage UI is now much faster. So for anyone that is, you know, as I say, like me, does a lot of building and does a lot of what's going on here, which is just going in, hitting that bumper and sticking the, the highest level part on, just you can see how quick the UI is running here. So you, you can build those max performance builds in in next to no time you're not waiting for the ui at all uh, which is just yeah it makes building a car so much better and obviously the entire garage ui so uh livery edit uh, the livery creators as well you're going to see the same yeah. kind of uh, performance benefits here yeah it's so we've amazing. had a, a bunch of livery creators and uh tuners uh, up on the stream in the community spotlight and what we're saying is you guys can be twice as efficient now potentially don't quote me on that but you could be so much faster now just based on a menu <laughs> load yeah, timers the, which is the, amazing the series x will pay for itself in time saved when you're upgrading your cars uh, you'd be crazy not to buy one <laughs> absolutely i mean and, and that just looks uh, we can tell the difference from the video which is uh, it blows my mind that you can see that um but like when we say higher fidelity graphics what exactly does that mean 
Uh, yeah, so we can uh, roll the next video, please. So uh, the graphics here are really similar to a super high-end PC. What we're looking at now is, um, is the reflections. So um, we've been able to massively increase the, the resolution and refresh rate, refresh rate of all the reflect reflections and all of the shiny surfaces. So you can see it on the, on the bonnet of this RS200 right now. You're picking up all those really cool details. It's super fast, super responsive looks absolutely beautiful uh here I, I think we wouldn't normally draw your attention to but it's the rear view mirror uh it actually looks pretty good you get a good view of what's behind you which as i say we wouldn't have ever drawn your attention to that previously <laughs> because it, it didn't look that good um so that. yeah reflections are massively improved if we go next video uh we can see uh, shadows i think um so again shadows uh, we've got uh, yeah, better, higher resolution shadows, higher, higher draw distance on those shadows, just a much better quality of light in every image. So between reflections and shadows, you see that um, the whole scene just sits together and has a much more natural feel to it. Um, all of the things in the world just have that realistic quality that um, you probably didn't realize was missing previously because I didn't. Um, but as soon as you're playing it on that, on that next gen hardware, you really start to just realize how high quality the image is every single frame. The rain. Yeah. I always yeah. lose my mind seeing rain. I don't know why. It's just so like <laughs> inconsequential, really. But it looks so cool. <laughs> um, yeah, and if we just want to uh, roll the next video, so um, so there's just a few little bits and bobs here I want to call out. So the, the draw distance here, uh, you've always been able to see all that distance, but just the quality of all the, of everything you can see there is really turned up to the absolute max. Um, I threw this one in just because autumn looks beautiful and it has really beautiful lighting. Um, I think you get a really nice quality of light, great shadows, all of it coming together really beautifully. Um, this one I think is a great one because you can really see the the quality of the vehicle models here. So both your car and all of the other cars in the race with you have got the quality of those assets turned up to the max. So here you can like you can really see into the engine bay. You can see all the moving parts of the engine. You can see those fans going, not just on your car, but on all the others as well. Uh, and here again, this was just one. It looked really beautiful. It was a, a winter morning, and I thought it had a really beautiful lighting. So I thought we'd keep that one in there. And finally, uh, this is a moment that everybody will have experienced as they started their journey in Forza Horizon 4, that race to the festival. It's it's high speed, the lighting looks amazing, the shadows look amazing, the festival looks great. Um, yeah, I think that's just a, a great showpiece for all of the new things you'll be able to see in the optimized version of Forza Horizon 4. Absolutely, it just looks somehow more immersive. Um, I, I, it's yeah, crazy. Yeah, it totally does. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's honestly, it's throughout, throughout, the more I've played it, the more it surprised me with just how just how good, good, and it, good, good, good an impact it has on the experience. The whole scene all the time just sits so well together. Everything just feels really realistic. Um, yeah, 10 out of 10 would recommend you should definitely buy the new console. <laughs> uh, no vested interest at all. Um, <laughs> and it's just, it's, I think Forza Horizon 4, uh, going off topic, it's a tiny bit. It, there's so many different environments in the game that you can really see the difference in a variety of ways, which is really awesome. It's not just one, like, the same landscape throughout the whole game. You've got a huge, huge variety to really take advantage of that. So yeah, somehow you've made it even more beautiful. Um, are there any more there features? Has never, there has never been a better time to play Forza Horizon 4, Leah. This is it. This is the time. Play it now. 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 <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, any more features for Forza Horizon 4, uh, you know, players to take advantage of? So I think the uh, the main one that we would want to call out is just a, a feature of the console, really, which is smart delivery. So um Everything that you've seen now, if you already own any version of Horizon 4 or you're a Game Pass subscriber, then you already own this. You just need to get that new console, hit download, and you can jump straight in. There's no additional cost, nothing you have to buy. It just it just works. Amazing. And, and the question I'm sure is on everyone's minds, mine in particular, does this mean we're coming to the end of the series updates? Yeah, this was actually the last update. So oh. yeah, uh, good <laughs> uh, no, I, I, I joke. Of course, I joke. Um, yeah, so we, Imagine. of course not. We are. We have a continued commitment to Horizon Four. We've got loads more really, really exciting updates. Some of them are still to come before the end of this year, um, and they are. I, I'm really excited about them, and I can't wait to share more. Amazing. Well, um, Mike and Chris, <laughs> hello, Chris. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on the show today. Thank you for all the hard work uh, the Playground Games team have put in on the new updates as well. We're all very excited to find out what it's going to be like to actually play it. Thank you. That's great. Thanks, Leah. Bye-bye. Cheers. Thanks. Bye.